Welcome to today's SatoCon Saturday. So we're ready now to move to the ninth queue, orange belt level in my dojo. Again, belt ranks are gonna vary. Go back and watch previous videos, understand why. But in my dojo, the next level, ninth queue, is the orange belt. The first technique we're going to do for the orange belt is the side thrust kick. Now you recall that yellow belt, the side blade kick, Yoko Gedi Kage, started here at the knee with my foot at my knee and my knee slightly outward and then lifted into the kick. And it's performed with a snap at the extension point. Yoko Gedi Kekomi, or the thrust kick, is going to lock a little more firmly at the extension point. So I'm not just tossing it out and back. It's actually going to lock out because I'm now going to be using my back and hip muscles, the larger muscles of my body, rather than the small hip flexor. So there's not a lot of power to push in a blade or a snap kick. Soko Gedi, Yoko Gedi Keage, whichever name you choose for it, blade foot, okay? But the Yoko Gedi Kekomi with the thrusting, I'm using the back side of my body, my, my glute, my uh, external obliques, my spinal erectors. So I'm using a lot more muscle here. Second point, always have my guard toward the kick. Some people will like to throw their hands out when they kick so they get more extension and their hands are used for balance. But if I'm using my hands for balance, I'm likely using my face to block. I prefer to use my hands in the guard. So I'm trying to stay as upright and motionless here as possible. When I kick the bottom foot, as the kick extends into position, two pivots. And that pivot is not an artificial, hey, I'm just going to lift and turn my foot. That pivot happens because the power of the hip and the extension of the kick pull my heel in the direction of the kick. Much like the snapping of the punch at the end, it adds a pop to the end of the kick as I lock it out. So position one, we chamber. Position two, we kick out and extend, hands stay on guard, return and step down. Same thing on the other side. So position one, we lift. Position two, we extend and the heel pulls out, come back and in. The hands stay in the guard. Now, if I wanna kick higher, you can lean a little further, but honestly, kicking much above the belt Anything below solar plexus is good. Anything that's getting above the navel, solar plexus or higher, maybe for sparring, for flexibility, for playing around, great. But for actual self-defense, your balance is going to be more compromised. Your kick is going to be more catchable. So I start them from the yoi position. We bring our hands to the guard at the side. One, two, three, four. Then to the other side. One, two, three three, four. Then we put it into motion with our front stance walking forward. When we do this, there's a quarter pivot as I chamber. Everything is aiming to the side. So I want my hands, my hip, my stance all to the side. Kick, step forward into your front stance. Hands switch as I lift my knee, turning my hip. Kick, and forward. And we learn to then move. And then the third evolution, we're going to actually put the kick on the bag. We'll start in our forward or fighting stance to learn to change the guard, turn the hip, and extend into the bag. Guard stays up. Now, if we want to get real picky, rather than just throw the kick and fall forward out of balance, I might even, as they progress, try to land from my kick into a fighting stance as if this is still my opponent. So I'm taking the same drill where we went sideways walking in Zenkutsudachi. I'm applying it as I kick the bag, bring my guard up, kick, land forward with my guard so that I still maintain body control and balance. Yokogeri Kekomi side thrusting kick for the yellow belt level. Now there or for the orange belt level, at yellow belt to get to orange. You can use balance bars, practice bringing the knee up high, extend and hold, get more height on your kick, do some stretching that way, build up the muscles if you don't have them. 
to practice um, just to get used to the muscles. But eventually then we come back out, we stand, we thrust our kick, we do the bag and so forth. Okay? Hopefully that gives maybe a couple tips and pointers working on your side thrust or yokogeni kekomi. Thanks again for joining and as always until next week, keep practicing.